Let's spend some time talking about the biggest change coming on the 6.7. It's a selective catalyst reduction system, SCR. It's going to reduce oxides of nitrogen, NOx, in the exhaust as an after treatment. It is going to store them up in a ceramic catalyst that's coated with copper, iron, and then we're going to inject a DEF, which is made up of a lot of ammonia when we break it down. And it's going to change the stored NOx into harmless gases. That's the overview of what the catalyst reduction does. It's going to use a special fluid called a diesel emission fluid. Now, one of the things we have to talk about is the shelf life in months. If we store diesel emission fluid at 104 degrees, it's only good for two months. So if you have an outside facility where you set your fluid and you're in a hot environment where it gets above 104, you might not want to leave your DEF in there over the summer. Take it and put it in some place where it's not as hot. If we're at 70 degrees, it lasts 18 months. If we're at 50 degrees, it lasts 36. So it lasts a long time. The DEF tank stores the DEF fuel for normal use. It needs to be refilled at intervals about the same as an oil change, typically around 4,000 miles. Oil change might be a little bit longer. It's got the blue cap, as you can recognize it here. It shows you do not put in gasoline. It's stored here. It's a plastic tank because this DEF is so corrosive, it would eat up a metal tank. We'll talk more about that. The reductant. That's what it's called. The true name is called reductant. It reduces oxides of nitrogen down into harmless gases. It is a mixture of 32.5% of urea and the rest is water. When injected into the exhaust, there is a chemical reaction that converts the NOx into N2 and H2O, nitrogen and water. The freezing point of reductant is down around 12 degrees. But that's not a problem because the EPA has said NOx production at cold temperatures is lower than normal. One of the things you need to be careful of, reductant is very caustic. Don't spill it onto connectors, wiring harnesses, or the paint, or you're going to be sorry. The reductant dousing module is controlled by the PCM. It's a special module just to run the, dou the reductant dousing. The reductant dousing module injects reductions into the exhaust system to reduce NOx, actually to break down the NOx that's been stored. And the injector is coated with a resist, to resist the corrosive properties of this particular material. It's really bad stuff. Here's the module here looking underneath along the side of the, the frame. Here's the dosing nozzle going into the exhaust system. Now we're going to talk about this mixer and spend some time there. There's an exhaust mixing system in the exhaust systems that mix the DEF and exhaust gases so they can combine. The mixer is made up of an atomizer to make a fine spray and a twist mixer to tumble them together, much like a washer machine or something. The twister mixer even distributes the DEF in the exhaust for maximum efficiency to reduce oxides of nitrogen down into harmless gases. Let's see how that works. The green arrow is where we're bringing in our DEF fluid, our reductant, bringing it through the DEF diffuser, which is like a screen to break up the droplets. Then, as you can see, we've got the, the twister baffles to mix it together so we can reduce that oxide or nitrogen down into useless stuff. Let's talk about this pump. The pump supplies the urea to the dosing module. One unique function of the pump is that when the ignition is turned off, the pump pulls all the reductant out of the lines. It goes in reverse. This is to extend the life of those lines and to prevent damage in the lines if the reductant freezes. Below a specified temperature, the KCM commands a glow plug control module to activate the heaters in the DEF system as well as the glow plugs. This is a special function of the glow plugs. When the glow plugs are on, we're warming up the DEF. It has heaters in the tank, the pump, and in the lines. The heaters in the tank thaw the DEF if it's frozen and allow it to flow to the pump. The heaters in the pump and the lines allow the DEF to flow even in the winter without freezing in the extremely cold temperatures. There's the tank in the bottom to warm it up before it flows into the supply lines going up. Make liquid in the bottom, pull it out of the bottom and take it to the top. The DEF fluid level sensor operates by using four electrodes that are mounted on a sensor at different levels. We're not interested in full 
we just go by quarter tanks. The DEF solution closes the electrical circuit between these electrodes for each level and sends a signal to the PCM reporting on the actual level of the DEF material. Here's the tank, as you see it's plastic, and the sensor to be located is something like you see here, low, medium, mid, and high. The PCM monitors this pressure sensor we have to calculate how much reductant is being injected to the exhaust. The pressure sensor is also used to shut the pump off when the lines are being drained after the ignition is turned off. When it's completely gone and we have no more pressure, it will shut the pump off. So here's our different systems. We have our reductant tank temperature, 57 degrees in this case. The reductant tank level, 14.4 liters. We've spent all of our time talking about reductant temperature, pumping it, and draining it out of the lines and heaters. Let's talk about how we decide when to use the reductants. We're going to have to measure NOx in the exhaust to tell us when we need to worry about turning on and using all this material we've talked about to reduce the NOx.